Okay, hello everybody. Um, welcome to, uh... Ooh, Comet Sighted. Gain-based stability. Ooh, okay, thank you. Um, so we are playing Hearts of Iron 4. Um, like I said we were. Um, I'm playing with my cousin, um, who played with me in my dick fight video. Say hello. So, we're playing the Great War Redux Beta. Um, so yeah, we just spawned in. We have to get our organization prepared. Um, okay, I'm just going to delete everything and start over. No, I want to destroy my production because this is. Yes. Okay, so I think the goal here is just going to be just click. to. Okay, I now wait. No, pause it. Pause it. Pause. I need. To, okay. Um, infantry equipment. Um, what do I need? Uh, artillery and support. Support. Um, which one's better? Toad Artillery or Field Howitzer? This takes one more. Yeah, let's get you. Um. Scout Planes. Early Fighter. Let's get you. Then let's... <laughs> I have an armored car. Um. I guess we'll try and make some of those. No template. Okay, free military factories. Okay, now I have like all my stuff up here. So let's start making a lot more of those. Let's make that. Put that up to like two. Put that up to one. Um, dockyards. Okay, um, let's build like a bunch of convoys. So I can like trade a bunch. Um,. A submarine so I can like assist you in convoy raiding because the Austrian convoy navy convoy raiding navy was fierce um then let's just get like a light cruiser uh okay so I, I think the plan here is to just knock down Russia because Russia is Russia I, I, I kind of want to like encircle a bunch of Russian divisions here in Warsaw, like, 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 in the whole Polish salient. And then we're just going to take that advantage and just charge east. Okay. And then just take over the entirety of the, of the Russian Empire. Okay. Swing around and just beat the French into submission. Don't have the factories to trade with you. Okay, then I need to build more. Um, let's get more sub civs, which are civilian factories, which, like, lets you trade, lets you build, just lets you do a bunch of the good stuff that you kind of need. So, Alex, um, have you been reading, like, the updates that they give? Uh, no. Like, in the... <laughs> well, I was just gonna do like the intro, then like when we're about to get to the action. Oh yeah, okay. And then just like skip through like the boring just prep stuff. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this gets me 10 military experience, and it looks like I need to do that. Tree Orchid. Wow, this. How big is this tree? That's actually kind of small, but. Okay, deal with Italy. Um, which one, like, helps... Y makes me help you? Military cooperation with Germany. Okay, I need to do this. Um, technology. Okay, I'm gonna get, like... I'm gonna get... Oh, what do I want? Um, so I'm just 
trying to figure out. This might be helpful. Um, leg infantry defense, supply usage, plus 5% though. Mm, I'll give them support weapons. Decisions available. Um... I don't think I'm going to do any of that right now. Ooh, available plants in reserve. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put you over there. Um... Okay, let's create another air wing of early fighters, yeah. Then we're gonna have them do air superiority over there. Could do like some interception or strategic bombing. Okay, let's see what I can do in the government. Uh, early mobilization. I'm gonna bump up to partial because that gives me like a buff um yeah that gives me plus 10 percent uh factory construction speed which will be nice you limited exports i don't have enough political power which is needed to do like those changes in government okay so You're up. I'm not even sure where- where are these? These- I have six divisions tasked with guarding all of Austria. Hungary. Six divisions. Okay, let's- I- I don't think you need metal garrison, do you? Well, I think this is just like how they are automatically assigned. No, that's how the computer assigned them when, like, for, like, the first five days when you weren't playing. Oh, yeah. Um, so I think that's, like, the basic start. So... Um, do I need... Should I deploy my, um, airplanes in Poland? Behind yeah, I'm not there. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but I am. So I have like a so I have eighteen divisions. So I'll send these guys to like help you. Like, is that good? I, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't think you even really saw it, but okay. Um, but did that actually set up the line? Alright, so this is like the guys when we initiate war go over like this way line. And then like if I hold on it, it shows like how they're gonna move to achieve this objective. Okay, you six guys, I'm going to transfer you over here. Reassign, yes. Okay, now I have 24 divisions over here uh, to help you. So who else am I bordering? I'm boarding off uh, Romania. Um, I don't think I need the border with... Do I need the border with the Ottoman Empire? No, no. Okay, so you guys. Put those three divisions in, like Montenegro. Where's Montenegro? Okay. It's like next to Serbia. Okay. Montenegro. So you want me to add them to like the Serbian defense? Okay. 
you guys merge with them. Yeah, yeah, content, that's what, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is getting to, like, just the boring, like, we draw the pre-lines. So, I should probably get some troops in training. Let's see what the AI got for me. They have one infantry division training. I have 1.6 million people. You want, you want to know what's going to be an issue? Supply of equipment. It's going to be a pain because I'm not that militarized and don't have many factories. Okay. You guys, um, you guys can like sweep in over here. You guys, it's probably not the best plan. I'll probably backfire tremendously. But you guys can like go over there. And you guys. Try and like push in over here. So this is me like getting ready to destroy Austria. Or Romania, I mean. Um... Get like base res excavation one, cause that gives me more resources. Okay, um, I think that's where I'm gonna, um, I'm we're just gonna continue to set up and get ready for the big battle. Uh, we'll get back to that when we're ready. Hello, everybody. Um. Here's a quick update on what's happened. Um, we, <laughs> we um, restarted, so it would be less laggy. So a few things have changed, including, um, as you can see, my production. Um, the armies are in my, in what I think are much more organized than what the AI put together for me. Um, hey, you got any cheese enthusiasts in the chat? What? Any cheese enthusiasts? This is a recording, not a live stream. I don't care. Are there, are there any people who are enthusiastic about cheese? Probably, maybe. I don't know. Like the video if you're a, if you're a cheese enthusiast. <laughs> Alright, so, so far we have our battle plans. So, Alex... Explain your detailed plan of what you're trying to do with Army 1 and 4. Okay, so basically, you know, we got this, like, nice old natural salient in Poland with the Russians. So I'm just going to try and circle them from two directions as um, Army 3 holds the line in the center. And then, boom, it's like a bunch of Russian army done. And then we just use our numerical advantage to just push east and overrun more Russian divisions and just snowball into the Russian Empire. Okay, thank you very much for that explanation. Um, no so, template. Interview. Basic, oh, how, basic how it's there. Oh. I'm sitting here with Master Tactician and everyone's favorite cousin, who is an Eddie. Urge. Well, because he is an Eddie, and then it's not a scientist favorite. It's not a scientist cousin. It's me. Okay, so. Hopefully, it, I it's start. It's like an incoherent mess. Me is. Me. Epic games! Okay! <laughs> okay, so. We are, this is where we're at. Um, you can see my battle plans to invade Romania. That's a problem. I did not know about that. Um, how many guys are in you? Seven. Really? Um, how wide is that? It's two tiles wide. Ugh. I'll break off two divisions. Let's 
so I can fill this gap. Over here. So that's our um, like update for what's happened. Uh, we'll get back to you when we actually get into like more combat. Okay, started recording. Okay, so welcome back. Um, as you can probably tell, uh, my cousin Alex broke the alliance. I did a cheeky. There was uh, a lot. There was a. Uh, focus called backstab which makes me which which makes my country piss at him so no it, it, basically I'm just like I want to break the alliance so it's like okay okay I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna say I need it for content right uh huh be honest I just wanted to shoot my cousin so, so today. Did the game just crash? No, you're just behind almost 30 out. You're behind almost a full two days. Yeah, yeah, my main for a second. It's fine. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I run me a staunch monarchist. So... Right now, the situation for Eddie isn't looking too grim. Do you mind telling the audience what exactly your situation is? Um, he's a much more industrialized country, and he also has 58 to 174 divisions, which is nowhere near the amount of divisions I can ever deploy, like, in a few years. Li I literally have two guys in basic training, and they're not even fully equipped yet. Two guys. One infantry, one mountain guy. How many are you, um, training, Alex? Uh... One second. Let me just do some calculations. I am training ten. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> but hey, at least we're both having fun and you are hopefully... Um, okay. enjoying Alex about to okay. tear me apart. But we're still going to be allies in invading Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Except the whole, like, Austro and Empire part of his name is going to be gone. Wait, so am I... Are you going to make me a vassal? You're going to be hungry. And you may be a vassal. Okay. But if, if you'd like, I can make you thick hungry. Okay, I'd like, I'd appreciate Thick Hungry. Okay, I, um, one thing I... Because I am a Romanian boy. Uh, one... Yeah. And, and Trinity Trinity Transylvania belongs to Romania for the Hungarians. Our vampires. Ours. But fine. Just for you, Eddie, I'll give you Vampire Land. Yes, Vampire Land. Right after I murdered you. Um, so one thing I am going to tell you, when you broke that alliance, I immediately shifted, um, 37 divisions to your border. Uh, I shifted, uh, how many is that? 48, and then another would be, uh, 72. 72 divisions to your board. Also, I can see your divisions, by the way. Oh, do you have, like, the... What do you no, have? No, like, like, like... Just sitting on the border. Yeah, yeah. S -s -s sitting on the border. Yeah, I had... I pulled back everybody from the border of Serbia and the kingdom of Romania and even Russia and put them all on your border. The only people I didn't remove is when you were boasting about your 
on, like, alliance with Italy, so I still kept those troops there. Okay, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's eleven divisions. So, thirty-seven plus eleven equals a number, and that number just happens to be forty-eight. So, but I, but I did reposition thirteen divisions to the Russian border. Thank you for telling me your exact number of divisions. Well, it's not going to help me. It's not going to be like, haha, I actually had a crap ton well, more divisions. I, I, I like knowing what to expect, but considering the fact that you can't even get us in your entire border with me, oh my goodness. <laughs> what? I can. You have uh, a two tile hole in Upper Austria. I see. <laughs> Um, what if I do this? Uh, no, you only have one tile hole in Upper Austria, and then one hole in this big one. It's time to be a Jason. Hey, yo, Switzerland, buddy, you wanna be on my team? Wait, what? Come on, come on through, Eddie. Come Wait, on. what did I just ex ask come you? On. Military access. Yeah, come on. Oh, I <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with that. Uh <laughs> Come on, man, come on. Here, cause you were so respectful. Wait. Boo. Here, here. Send a division to Berlin. We're gonna have a discussion. Oh, you want me to send like a division? Yeah, yes. You. Send a division to Berlin. Do I send like the best equipped? You. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Send, send, send your best division to Berlin. Hashtag not a trap. Okay, Romania. No, I should not have said that out loud. <laughs> Anyways, this is your top 10 division coming. Top 10? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here, here, here they come, here they come, here they come. Where are you being, is it? Where are you being? Oh, he's over here. I, I can't even find... <laughs> Okay. Well, I know I'm gonna get killed, like, in a few days. I only have, like, a week. <laughs> oh, thanks for... You, you, you have the national focus set, by the way. Yeah, I know. Uh, what should I do? Development of Vienna. Uh, let's do that. It's gonna be 70 days. You didn't make it in time. <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. Okay, he made. I'm not sure what your ploy was there, cause he just. <laughs> Alright, when are you declaring war? Um, hello everyone, welcome back. Um, it hasn't really changed much. 
Um, except I edited my divisions, so now it looks like this. And now they're. People still enthusiastic about cheese, though. These are the questions. I still have these two tiles just completely open. Again, why are you doing that? Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, 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 this is some like big brain military strategy. Give up the mountains. But on the defensive. Are you going with like some kind of like weird tactic where he's like, okay, he's gonna come in through the mountains, then I'm going to encircle him? I don't even have a battle plan ready for Germany. What do you mean you don't even have a battle plan ready? Are you going to invade me? Is that what you're saying? No, but I thought that's what you were thinking I was going to do. No, I wasn't thinking that at all. You don't, there's no way you could invade me. struggling to produce my, my poor howitzers. Making 2.44 a week. A so week? Total, at the moment, I only have I only have 16 howitzers. And I need a thousand three hundred and ninety. Jesus. My army is now 60% equipped. I just gotta get that product efficiency cap up. I only need like 24 more. Yeah, okay, so you got your army 60% equipped in like 30 days, but now you only have 30 more. So, your, your army's gonna be like 67% equipped by the time you invade. Well, it's gonna be hard pushing through Krakow because I'm building a fort there. A level 1 fort. One level one four. Where are you going? Right now. I just I'm just building a string of level one forts along the whole border. I know it's not going to do anything. They're not going to get even close to done on time. But maybe some can become holdouts. Excuse me. Um. Do you mind? You. Go. You better stay there. My guys still aren't defending the, um, like, river area. I'd really love to see your battle plan. I don't have one. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have one? Like, 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 make a front line. Oh, I do. So, so then why aren't they going there? They are, but then... Okay, Almost will you please right. just stay there? Thank you. Okay, I think it's fixed. So how long until your war begins? Uh, 22 days. 21 days. Okay, I'm still at 60%. Oh, fuck. I have to equip... 360 howitzers, and I only have 15. Uh, I have more howitzers than you. I have 22. H how much artillery do you have? Uh, Toad? Mm -hmm. Um, I actually have 338 in stockpile. Oh, yeah, but how many do you have in the field? Um, artillery. I have 480 of my f field artillery, and then I only have 15 howitzers in the field. Because I have, like... Wait, uh, how, how much artillery did you say you have? Um, my field artillery was 480. Okay, I, I have...
Okay. I don't think your prediction will even be correct because I'm only on 61% uh, field. My guys yeah, in the field. I don't know what kind of industrial expansion that you were doing, but yeah. Yeah, I really slowed it down to build more <laughs> um, forts. So now that's just completely stopped. Coming in 13 days. Yeah, this is going to take like two months to do. The grand opening of another factory is is done. Four factories. Four factories fire. Um, what you guys doing? Why aren't you guys like repositioning? That has no orders assigned. Oh, I'm pausing it. Eight days from the invasion. Now, okay. You. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Yeah? You see, the, the reason, Eddie, the reason that they're not going to that one tile is because you don't have a mouse guy. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still 60, only 63% equipped, and I still have, like, uh, like, almost 20,000 infantry equipment that still needs to be built and passed out. Okay, this is the game, how quickly am I gonna die? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I know the perfect strategy that will help me win. Do that. And then press that button. Yeah. Take that. What, what are you doing? Oh yeah, you're really feeling the pain now. I'm actually holding you in, um, Bohemia. Yeah. But you completely crushed the flank down here in Upper Australia. <laughs> Upper Australia, that's what it says. Upper Austria. So yeah, he's way better at this game than me, as you can tell. Okay, uh, Eddie, I would like you to focus your attention on the Italian front. Why? I just don't know. He's in particular. Just something that I might want to see. Yeah, I know. You know that you're in circle? Yeah. Okay. How many divisions is that? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What is that? Like, 20% of your army? 
you know, you really are holding me in Bohemia, but what if God said, have another 24 divisions for that front? <laughs> Where are you pulling those 24 divisions from? The French border. France, now's the time. I had a whole other army ready to go. I find it funny, I'm sending three extremely, like, under-trained and under-equipped divisions. I literally spawned in, like, from my, um, training place and sent them to Romania. <laughs> They're just gonna get crushed. Not bad. Yeah, um, I, I, I completely forgot that Romanians are from. The Romanians are just moving in. Well, I made the mistake of completely recalling all of my troops from Romania. Okay, let's just increase the speed so I can die quicker. Alright, Bohemia is holding. Um, somewhat, they're still holding in the pocket, but it's not going to last at all. It's, it's not, they're starving. Yeah. You don't even have enough forces to try and break them out without just collapsing your front everywhere else. What? And there she is. I just press that button. If I just do that. No, Eddie, you're still you're still Austria hunger, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you 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 saw the Hungarian Revolution, right? Yeah. So, they're also in the central powers. I'm a bit curious, how'd you get Romania into this? Well, you see, remember how I was doing a focus called Romania Pact? Yeah. That's the, that's about this. Oh. Uh. I mean, it's not necessarily what it does, but you can... It didn't, they get the option to the faction, and it didn't, so that might be your thing What? I'm attacking this guy, and then he's somehow attacking my guy, even though he's defending. What kind of stupidity is that? I don't think that's like how that's supposed to work. It is. I thought. So, no, you're barely holding Romania. Uh, yeah. I'm just focusing on the Romanian front right now. And, honestly, Eddie, honestly. You're only holding in Northern Bohemia, so have another 18 divisions. Uh, thanks. Oh, 
Well, Hungry, the thing you just spawned in is garbage. I have three malnourished divisions and they're b actually beating... They're actually beating the Hungarian troops. Hey, you've killed more Germans than Germans have killed you. Congratulations. Yay. Who's killed the most? From me? Italy? Yeah. Oh yeah, probably with the... Uh... It's, it's just constant, it's constant attacking at me. Yeah. But a lot of my battles are almost over here, so, so your number of casualties for me is about to just go way up. Unless you just get capitulated. <laughs> oh my. Oh. What? Romanian forces are about to link up the Italian front, which means you're about to just be completely cut off from the Adriatic. And boom. Your navy is done for. Oh no, like I cared about the navy. Oh no, anyway. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, continue to take that. Now, are you actually winning any attacks anywhere? Um. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Wait, no, no attacks, no. Actually, I was about to say yes. Well, technically, I am in, like, the battle for Budapest. Budapest. Is you just lost Vienna. I did. I have to worry about this assassination. We we was proud to serve the Tsar. <laughs> Wait, was that Nicholas? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Look at the leader of Hungary and tell me he's on like freaking just like durr. I think he has lazy eye. Ugh. He does not- I don't like looking at him. He makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't look- I don't like looking at any of the leaders. Like, like, like I, I hate all of the portraits. Like, Italy's guy at the beginning of the game is just like, ugh. France's guy is just like, yeah. This thing was pretty good one, and so is Portugal. Nicholas is fine. Wilhelm is boring. Uh, Franz Joseph is just ugh. England's guy is like, eh, 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 eh. Sweden, uh, Norway has like a priest. I guess. The, 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 it's just like, ugh. Oh my god, Luxembourg. Look at the leader of Luxembourg. Oh boy. What the fuck is... What the... What's going on? What? Wait, what is that? He has like super weird glasses. Okay, now let's check the casualty thing. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I expected. I'm sure if I liquidate this pocket. What do you pause for? Oh, it's just. I don't think it's an expeditionary for Romania, thank you. Okay. Okay. No. What did you. Are, did you just. Did, did you sign a thing with Russia? No, wait, I can? I can do that? No, no, I was wondering if you signed a fucking, uh, military access thing, because I saw somebody that was trying to retreat across the Russian border.
No. The hell are you doing attacking German divisions? No, idiot. The Polish Soviet Republic it just declared war on me. So many things just declared war on me. Well, you said I could have Transylvania. Yeah, we'll get Northern Transylvania. Fine. Wait, hang on. I like to change everything on the So I'm gonna play as Hungry. Um, welcome back everybody. Um, I'm now playing as the- You weren't recording the entire war? No, I recorded the whole war, but I, um, stopped, like, right after you finished the peace treaty. Now, Eddie, should I 
Ten from the Holy Roman Empire. That'd be Kaiserite. I don't know. We're going to go through Italy? Yes, we're going to go through Switzerland as well, and we're going to pressure them into joining us. But, you see, the French Navy do you. My Navy, strong boy. We just... Alex. <laughs> Wait, Alex. Hungary kept my infantry division. Template. So now I have my old Austro-Hungarian infantry division. Okay, I have nine divisions. Let's see what my army, what my thing looks like. Okay, let's just. Uh, I'm gonna start um, building up my industry. Um, so this is where I'm gonna leave everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please have a fantastic day. Goodbye. <laughs>